guys welcome back to my channel so I'm a little bit late but I finally rounded up my January favorites so we'll be talking about some of the products I've really been feeling this month if you're new here please subscribe I do put out content two to three times a week so um, yeah and also, if you're an oldie but a goodie savvy, thank you for coming back. Hey girl. Okay, so let's get right into it. So first I'm gonna be talking about skincare. I've got these really awesome products from a company called Nip and Fab. You can find them at Ulta. I believe they might be at Target, but don't quote me on that. This first one, this is called their Dragon's Blood Fix Hyaluronic Shot. So, if you guys aren't familiar with um, things like AHAs and BHAs, they're really good for, you know, just kind of keeping your skin clear of any dead skin cells, encouraging your skin to naturally exfoliate itself. I have sensitive skin, so I can't use a harsh exfoliator. Now, what this is, is you can add this to a moisturizer that you have or a serum, and it's going to be like it's going to add some AHAs and it's also going to add an extra moisturizing boost to your serum or your moisturizer so if you're experiencing drier skin than normal this is really awesome and I think it's a lot more affordable for those who can't buy a higher end um, AHA product I think this is really great this right here in keeping with the whole you know like natural exfoliator thing this is called uh, the nip and fab glycolic fix daily cleansing pads so I like to use the drunk elephant um, it's kind of like a AHA product and it's got glycolic acid so that helps my skin stay you know um, bump free so it, it helps with texture this is a lot more affordable option and basically after you've cleansed your skin you're gonna take one of these pads you're gonna wipe it over your whole face and it's like I said really great for texturizing and keeping your skin bump free moving on so my favorite foundation this month has been the cover effects it's their natural finish oil free foundation I love it I'm wearing it right now it gives you such um, just a natural look to the skin it doesn't look cakey it doesn't even really look like you're wearing like a lot of makeup or anything like that so for those of you guys that really like natural foundations you can wear that and it's also buildable if you need fuller coverage if you have pigmentation or you know any old acne scars that you're trying to hide that's going to be really great with this one so i just love it's like the right one it's not too oily it's not too you know dewy not too matte it's just just right <laughs> so I definitely encourage you guys to check this out they have a really great range for you know deeper skin tones as well so moving on you guys aren't going to be too happy with me because this palette is sold out but I need to mention it because I've been using it so much and I'm just I'm just really like pumped about this palette it's the colored rain Queen of Hearts palette now I'm just so impressed with the quality of the eyeshadows here and I really love that this is a black owned business so this is the first product I've ever purchased from Colored Rain and this really has kind of made me want to start paying more attention to that brand so that's why I want to mention this if you guys haven't seen my review and tutorial of that check it out but definitely check out this brand they've got such good stuff and I've heard so many things about their lipsticks and all that stuff so I just can't wait to start exploring their brand a bit more all right so we're gonna stay in the whole eyes family next up I'm gonna talk about this really great um, lash primer this is from L'Oreal it's their voluminous face lash primer so it's what you put on before you put on your mascara now I do have eyelash extensions the individual kinds so I only use this on my bottom lashes and I'm telling you my bottom lashes are like almost non-existent I and mean, no one has ever said anything to me <laughs> about my bottom lashes so I got this because um, I saw makeup Shayla using it and uh, I was like oh shoot like okay let me go use this so basically you apply it to your bottom lashes it looks white and then you go in with mascara and you add that on the bottom as well and it just makes my bottom lashes like pop so much so for somebody who just like doesn't really have much going on in that area, I was like, 
oh my god like I gotta start using this more um so I'm sure this would look fabulous on normal like your upper lashes as well this is just what I use it for the bottom lashes it really 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 makes them pop and it's really affordable so check this out guys okay so the next one I literally just got this like last week but I'm already uh, I'm already in love so I actually got sent the Marc Jacobs Beauty these are their highlighter pencils so what they are is they are eyeliner pencils that go on really smooth and they are um, waterproof so what I love about this is I actually have uh, what is this color here this is the color brownie and I've used this on my bottom lashes you guys I have a slight phobia with lining my bottom lashes because it just like they never just stay looking nice for that long you know after a few hours you just end up looking like a raccoon and that's not a cute look that's not a cute look and I don't want to be bothered to be constantly touching it up all the time but I mean I used this and shoot like it stays put the best part is so when you apply it and then I use um, an eye brush to just smudge it out you know sometimes with a lot of waterproof pencils it'll be hard to smudge out and you end up tugging a lot in your eye area this is not the case it goes on smoothly it smudges beautifully and after it smudges like give it some time to set and it's not going anywhere I'm so surprised and in love with these two like uh, I need them in some more colors because I'm just really impressed with the formula I think they did a fabulous fabulous job all right all right so next up we're gonna talk about brows I usually don't do my brows a lot on camera because I never want to make my video super long but I have to talk about what I use I love benefits products um, this one right here is their goof proof pencil so on one side you get this you know the little spoolie and on the other side you get this little guy right here and what I use this for is outlining the shape so the bottom and the upper parts I use this to just outline that sharp shape and for filling in the brow pencil I use the precisely my brow pencil and I believe what color is this this is the number five so you've got a spoolie as well and then this little pencil I'm starting to like this even more than Anastasia Beverly Hills um, it's just performed so nicely you can either make your brow like super defined super sharp or you can make it look more natural by just using this uh, it's really 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 great so I'm feeling it okay so moving on to other face products boom okay this City Colors blush trio it's uh, the B matte blush you've got three colors here I'm telling you this all of these blushes are popping. You've got a more vibrant pink, you've got a purple, and like a mauvey color. Ooh! You know, when I first saw this, I was like, purple on my complexion? Like, ooh. But it looks, it's weird. It looks purple, but it goes on like just this lovely, like dark pinkish color almost. Ooh, it's so, so beautiful. And what I love about this is that the colors are so pigmented. Let me see if I can swatch this for you guys. Okay, so swatch these on my hand. Obviously, with a finger swatch, the blushes are gonna look a lot more pigmented, but I just wanted to give you guys kind of a sense of what they look like. Trust me, when they go on the skin with a brush, they're gonna look so freaking lovely, and it's really affordable, so you just can't beat it. It's nice, it's small, you can carry this around with you when you're traveling, on your purse, whatever you gotta do, you know, for your after the gym bag, whatever. It's just, ugh, I can't even say enough good stuff about it. If you ain't on City Colors blushes, whoo, you better get on it. So, recently I went and copped some of these Dose of Colors, um, it's their liquid lipsticks and I haven't actually ever tried their stuff before but you guys this is by far the best liquid lipstick formula I've ever encountered it feels like you have nothing on your lips it doesn't come off or anything it just looks so lovely like all day long <laughs> it's really it's really just amazing so I'm gonna swatch these three colors I've got supernatural 
cork and Los Angeles on the bottom. And then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on my skin. Okay, so this is what the colors look like on my skin tone. On top is super natural, and it's more of like a nudish color. What you can do is if you have a deeper skin tone like mine, take a brown liner like MAC Chestnut and line your lips and also bring it in towards the center and put this in the middle and just kind of blend those two colors together. It's going to be like a really beautiful nude color for you. Also in the middle here is cork. Now this is definitely like a dark brown. For me it's like a nude color and it's just really beautiful. And on the bottom here is Los Angeles. I love the name, <laughs> the way they like spelled it out. It's so cute and clever. This is definitely more for like someone who's not afraid of bold colors. Also like going out at night, this is something that you would use. On me, since I have such big lips, this color stands out a lot. So I'm not even gonna lie, like I'm a little afraid of it, but I bought it because I'm like, you need to push yourself to get a little bit out of your comfort zone. So I, yes, I love this color. I'm in love with the swatch. And I think it just could look really beautiful on all types of skin tones. So last up is this awesome product from, um, Derma Blend, it's their loose setting powder. I got this in one of my subscription boxes and I was like, oh, I kind of, you know, I'm familiar with this because I was at IMAX and I did see them. And they're, you know, a brand that a lot of professional makeup artists use and it's so nice. So this setting powder looks hella white <laughs> when you look at it. And then you put it on your skin and it just, um, really kind of blurs, gives the skin that nice blurred look, especially under the eyes. I found that some of the setting powders that I use, like the Kat Von D and the Laura Mercier, you know, they go on and I think it's really great if you have oily skin in that area, but it can make the skin look like crocodile skin underneath. And this doesn't do that. Like, it's really light, it's really delicate, it keeps the area looking matte. So I definitely suggest that you guys check this out. I think that they also have some powder foundations. I haven't done any research on that, but if that's your thing, like definitely check it out. All right, you guys, so that's it for my January favorites. Those are the products I've been loving, and um, yeah. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys have been loving this month because I'm always looking to try new things. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!